Let's take a look at the inbound process with Excellos 1 WMS. The key elements of any warehouse receiving process are twofold. First and foremost, accurately identify stock that is being received so that the business has visibility into accurate inventory. Secondarily, and just as important, bring stock to the pick line as efficiently as possible to service customer orders. This may seem simple at first. However, different scenarios conspire to reduce accuracy levels and make receiving less efficient. Some examples of that include a lack of consistency between vendor item and carton level markings. Some vendors may barcode items while others may not. Inbound containers may arrive floor loaded with multiple purchase orders of product interleaved throughout the container. Some products may require quality inspection. In the case of food distribution, product may need to be flagged during the receiving process for an extended QA hold period and there may be various product categories that require different hold period durations. Some items arrive at the receiving dock may need special treatment because they're on back order, or there are special order items that need to be immediately routed to the pick line. All of these complexities lead to compromises in accuracy and efficiency. However, with Excellus 1 WMS, these compromises don't need to be made. Similar to the inventory work center that we showed you earlier, the receiving work center shows all of the inbound orders and their statuses. We'll pick a purchase order for receiving and take you through the process. As you can see, once we've highlighted a specific order, we can show all of the detail associated with that order. Let's go and receive this purchase order into the warehouse. You're looking at a mobile device similar to a smartphone, but ruggedized. Just like a mobile phone, this user interface has been specifically designed for the small screen. The functions on the device have been optimized to enable efficient warehouse operations that include barcode scanning as the predominant user input. Accurate identification of inbound items in a warehouse is usually achieved through the automatic identification of items and matching to their originating purchase orders. Scanning item and case level barcodes to identify products at the receiving dock usually eliminates errors associated with visual inspection. Let's navigate to the receiving menu. Although there are many options in receiving to accommodate different scenarios where the product will show up at the door, we'll focus on the most common function, which is standard receiving. This function was designed so that users can receive against standard purchase orders entered into the ERP solution. In the case where items may arrive by container load, items are matched to their container, which references the original purchase orders. First, we identify the purchase order for the inbound materials. If we're receiving multiple purchase orders simultaneously, we can identify all of the purchase orders that are being received at the same time. When we receive multiple purchase orders at a time, we call this wave receiving. In fact, multiple receivers can be assigned to a single group of orders so that product can be accurately identified and then moved from dock to stock quickly. Now we need to identify the unique line items on the inbound shipments. This process requires us to enter the quantity of units per pack size then the number of pack sizes received. If labels are required for cases or pallets that are not barcoded, they can be printed at this time. After we've received an item, we are prompted for the put away location. This may be directed or random. Many smaller warehouses would prefer to direct the stock handler to a pick location to top it up before the rest of the items are placed in a bulk storage location overhead. Larger warehouses or those with more complex processes typically prefer a rules-based put-away process. This may involve direction to a staging location before put-away or to a specific set of locations. In food and beverage, as an example, this may mean directing the stock handler to put product away to specific temperature-controlled locations. Many warehouse operations instead prefer to marshal cases onto a pallet and label that pallet with a license plate. That license plate then becomes the identification for the movable unit through the warehouse up until selection for picking. Let's scan a license plate. Let's receive another item. In this case, we'll receive a lot controlled item. The function is exactly the same as before, only the receiving function prompts you for a lot number after the product is scanned. If a lot or serial number is required for capture, these may be things like food items that are lot controlled and require tracking for compliance purposes in case of a recall. Some food items require traceability in the form of country of origin or a specific farm where produce may have been grown. Items such as computer 
and telecommunications equipment may be serial controlled and require the tracking of serial numbers on each unit throughout the warehouse. Excellus 1WMS can track up to 10 simultaneous attributes in and out of the warehouse. Let's now take a look at the item that we put away into the warehouse in the inventory work center. You can see the item's quantity and location listings. Additionally, you can see any pallet license plates associated with that product. If we click on the log file in the work center, you can also see all activities that were performed against this product with a time and date stamp.